Welcome to another work week my life vlog. I'm just getting ready for work. It is Monday and I just finished curling my hair. I'm gonna put some mousse in it. I ran out of my favorite curling gel. It was a Pantene curl gel um, because I really like to put like a gel or a mousse in my curls. I scrunch it in like this. This mousse is kind of a second choice. I prefer my curling gel. I need to go to the store and pick it up. But I just find it helps to hold my curls all day. It helps me to like fluff them up and I don't know, make them like separated so that they don't all clump together. And I just like the way it looks and it doesn't hurt that this product smells really good. This is the Dove Style and Care Curls Mousse. But like I said, I prefer there's nothing left of it. It's just here to remind me to get a new one, a Pantene curl sculpting gel, but I think they've changed the packaging since then because this lasted me a very long time. <laughs> and then I finish it off with some hairspray. This is the Pantene Air Spray, alcohol free number two. I appreciate the number two. Oh, oh my God, I just, sometimes the nozzle gets clogged and I just spray my face. And if I don't wipe it off, then I'm gonna get pimples wiping off my makeup pretty much. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Anyways, hair's done, happy Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my jewelry and head out the door. This is my super quick outfit of the day. Curled hair, as you saw, this blazer, I really like the um, texture on it, is from RW & Co. I will link the haul down below so you can see how I styled it. Then I'm wearing this black chiffon top from RW & Co. My necklace is hidden. Black jeans from RW Co. and belt is from RW Co. Wow, didn't even plan that. I just have a lot of pieces from them and I really enjoy their clothes for work. I'll link some hauls down below that I've done. Um, and then my regular jewelry, Daniel Wellington watch. Silver ring, black flats, black Kate Spade bag, ready to go to work. <laughs> It is much, much later. Uh, today was good, long day at work, and then hung out, and now I'm getting back to being productive and having a snack. I didn't really eat too much for dinner, so now it's like late, um, hungry for a snack. So I'm gonna nibble on these. These almond nuggets in dark chocolate from Costco. Super good. Honestly, though, I don't snack too much. And I think that's what helps my diet, I guess you can say. Is that I don't really snack in the evening. Usually, like, when I get home from work, I'll have dinner. And then maybe I'll have, like, a bowl of cereal later in the evening. But typically, I don't really eat in the evenings after work. So that's why I like to pack, like, good snacks for work and stuff. And a good meal. So that I eat most of my calories during the day. And then at night, I pretty much just eat dinner and that's it. I'm also drinking some lemon water. I feel like I didn't drink enough water today. I'm trying to hydrate and do some work on my computer. I am home from work now. It is just about 6.30 and my friends Nikki and Alyssa are coming. Alyssa is actually moving to Vancouver next week, uh, which is really sad. We have been, the three of us have been best friends for 10 years. September 8th was our 10 year anniversary. So I'm really sad about it. I'm not emotionally expressing that, but it's gonna be a big change. So they're coming over and we're gonna have dinner and enjoy the moments we do still have together. We're gonna make dinner, we're gonna make pizza on the barbecue and go sit up on my rooftop. So I'm really excited. Actually, I'm gonna put the wine in the fridge and I'm just getting ready until they come.
at it with the Monopoly deal cards. <laughs> For our 10 years of friendship, we are planning potentially a friendship tattoo. <laughs> and so we're sketching out different ideas. We've been friends for 10 years, so Ooh, we're bad. sketching yeah, out different ways good. of writing so, 10. No, I'll cross that one out, that one's bad. In different handwriting, so this one was mine. And then these are all Nikki. You haven't tried. Okay, here we go. First one, I'm nervous. Noah. Oh god! I can't, no, I can't do it. Just try it. No! <laughs> Alyssa's notebook in high school used to be filled with And I used these. to have different color pens for like yeah. all my different subjects, so I used to do that. Okay, you guys got me nervous. Oh my god, I can't do oh it. God. What's happening? Did no one teach you how to do cursive? No, I just, I don't practice. Oh, that was <laughs> Is it weird to have the number 10 tattooed on you? We were thinking of different things that like symbolize 10 years. Or symbolize friendship, but we couldn't. Ten is definitely the best number to write out. Like, we're not gonna write eleven or twelve, so you gotta do it now or never. <laughs> write down your comments below for any tattoo ideas. Okay, so I got Nikki to write it on my ankle, and we think it looks stupid. <laughs> I think because the E it looks like an I. If it was more, I don't know. We don't like, like it. Like, no. Next idea. What am I, Adidas for life? <laughs> Three strikes. <laughs> Three friends. Or maybe a bit closer together. Like, what do you mean you're bad foot? This is the one that I have the nerve. Problem. The vlog where we get friendship tattoos. Oh my god, that's cute. <laughs> oh yeah. You can barely see Nikki. I kind of like it. I love it. <laughs> we decided we're not saying bye. No, she's not letting you leave. <laughs> that makes it easier. Okay. Whatever. We'll figure it out. And then we don't see each other and we'll, and we'll do a three-way call. <laughs> <laughs> we we're gonna meeting. have to, I think we should schedule weekly calls. That'd be nice. Or like bi-weekly. Yeah. I, said, I said to her, I was like, oh, Do you have any Apple product we could do FaceTime? No, absolutely not. Uh, we'll have to figure it's out great. like a Google we'll Hangout or something. Recommendations oh, yeah. down below. How do you keep in touch with your WhatsApp? friends long distance? Yeah, probably. A three-way WhatsApp? Oh. Yeah? I'm sure. Yeah, probably. I'm sure. I guess I'm just saying by the vlog. Until next time. Until See the you next Uber. Yeah. My best friend just left, but we're in denial. We're probably gonna see each other again. We'll see. Like before she leaves, I mean, because she leaves next week. It is Saturday now, and I am hanging out with my mom. I'm actually gonna go meet her at the mall, and we're gonna. Um, she has, I don't know, some errands she needs to run, so I'm going to see her, and. I have just had a really social week, so I am pretty tired and I'm just packing my bag here. And normally when I would go see her, I would typically like spend the night there, but I feel like I haven't gotten a lot done around here. It is a mess and I just need to kind of like get my shit together. So I'm going to see her now and we're going to hang out for the afternoon. It's going to be cute. I'm excited to see my mom, uh, but then I'm coming back here and we'll probably get work done for the rest of the weekend just to like be productive as you can see it is a mess behind me trying to balance social and getting work done heading out and I'm gonna go meet her at the mall now I have been editing all morning and I feel really productive and I'm really proud of myself because I had been putting off this video in particular for a very long time. I love filming week in my life vlogs but editing them just kind of like I don't know I, I feel overwhelmed because there's like usually so many pieces to put together but I'm getting into a rhythm of it and I really really enjoy sharing my week in my life let me know what you think in a comment down below like do you enjoy them because i have been doing them pretty frequently now and i really really enjoy kind of capturing even for myself like my memories but i wanted to share with you that i actually got glasses this week and the reason why i went to go get glasses is because 
I had been experiencing really bad headaches pretty much ever since I started my new job. I think it's it was like a combination of like the stress of starting a new job, but then also like staring at a computer screen for so long. And I was actually having a hard time seeing far. So I went to go get my eyes checked for like the first time in many, many, many years. I have had good vision up until this point. So I didn't uh, feel the need to go get my eyes checked, which I feel like you're supposed to go regularly, but that's besides the point. So I was experiencing really bad headaches and like really bad, like fogginess. It was really bad for a while um, until I decided to go get my eyes checked. And then I got glasses and they are I'm supposed to wear them when I'm on the computer and I find they really help although when I'm wearing them I can't see like far in them it's kind of weird I don't know like I've never had glasses before so I don't really know like if the prescription is right but they work well for when I'm on the computer but when I'm then trying to like talk to someone at work their like face is blurry so I don't really know I actually got these at Bon Look it's in the Eaton Center and I work close to there so it was just really convenient for me to go and I think they're really simple I've never had glasses before so I didn't really know what I was looking for but I tried on a bunch and these were pretty simple and they have the blue light filter for working on the computer as well I don't know I don't know how I feel about having glasses. <laughs> Anyways, I'm wearing them because I've been editing this morning uh, and I feel like I'm in a good rhythm. I'm having a good day. And uh, last night I had fun seeing my mom and we went to the mall. I'm gonna do a haul of a few things that I got because I picked up a few things and I'm excited about that. But for now I am trying to like keep myself, you know, on track and finish editing. I actually, when I got back from visiting my mom, uh, I actually like did some tidying up which really helped because I also find like I procrastinate by cleaning and if it's like a mess around me I feel the need to clean before I do anything else which then pushes things on my to-do list and I end up like cleaning and I feel like that's like a common meme because uh, it's always especially when you're a student it seems like you know you have an exam to study for and it's like oh my god I have a big exam to study for I need to clean my room which is just really funny so I tried to beat that like procrastination by cleaning up last night. That way when I woke up this morning, I could get right into editing and get this off my list. If you haven't noticed, I talk about editing a lot. It is a big frog on my to-do list. I love filming, but editing is not my favorite thing to do. Although that's when all the magic happens and when the video comes together. So it's always a very rewarding process, but for some reason I always drag my feet to like get started because it seems very like overwhelming and daunting because there's so many different pieces to put together and I feel the pressure to like make it perfect. I know a lot of YouTubers, especially vloggers have editors, but I don't know if that would be something that I would be interested in because I feel like they wouldn't always understand my vision. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I think definitely in the future, in order to scale, I think it would probably be beneficial to outsource the tasks that I don't like to do. But yeah, I hope you are motivated. It is Sunday and I am moving and grooving <laughs> and feeling good, being productive. I'm working on my computer for very many hours. <laughs> so I decided to finally get changed and I don't wanna get like ready for the day. I wanna give my skin some time to breathe, not do my hair or makeup, um, cause I'm gonna shower later. I'm actually gonna do my nails too. I already took off my nail polish. Anyways, I thought I would do a little haul and then I'm gonna start meal prepping and make dinner and then like some meals for the week. So I got three things at the mall yesterday. So from Aritzia, I got a replacement of my favorite black leggings, just because I've had the ones that I have now that I wear all the time uh, for maybe three years now. And they're starting to have like little balls on them. So I got the exact same ones. They're the TNA Atmosphere Legging. They are high rise, skinny leg, regular length and I got them in an extra small. I love these and they're just my favorite. I think they raised the price. I believe they used to be $60 flat and now they're $68, but they're still cheaper than Lululemon and they're like the same material. So I really like them. And I also noticed when I was getting them that the TNA symbol, it comes in a few different colors and I almost just like pulled the one, the first extra small on the top. Then I realized that the symbol came in different colors. So the one that I had pulled originally was pink and I didn't want the pink one, so I saw that they had 
black. I think there was also a white one, but I like the black one because you don't really see it and they just look like black leggings. These are my fave and just got a replacement of them. Then I got, and I'm really excited about this. So it wasn't really looking for a dress, but at Marciano, which is a brand by Guess, I ended up getting a really pretty black dress. I have a few formal events coming up in the upcoming year and I find when you go out looking for something then you can't find anything so I have it had it at the back of my mind and I found this dress on sale and I absolutely love it so it is a black bandage dress I'll put in a picture because I took a picture when I was trying it on it fits me perfectly and it's so comfortable so it's just black bandage it goes right above my knee and then the top has kind of like a an off the shoulder little detail and it's really great quality really soft and like i said it's comfortable and fits me well so i had to get it it was on sale originally it was a uh, 228 and then i got it for 126 so it was like 30 percent off and then 30 percent off of that that's what came to that price. So I was really happy about that. I honestly, I, I like that it's black. It's simple. It'll match with everything. Um, but I almost wish that it came in like a navy blue because I think that would look really pretty. But I'm excited for that. <laughs> Two black items. And then finally, I went to Bath and Body Works. And I haven't been to Bath and Body Works in a very, very long time. I don't like candles too, too often. But Ever since I moved into this condo, I find that the air, um, I need to figure it out because the air, I feel like gets stale and then it always has like a smell when I walk in here and I don't like that. So I wanted to get some new candles just to help like freshen things up. I don't like them too often, but I like to have them and all the ones that I had have finished. So they're having a good sale. They were, the candles were marked down to $13.95 each and then um, I overheard someone in the store talking about this 20% off coupon that you can get on their Facebook page. So I did that while I was in the store and it was actually the last day of it. So then I got 20% off of that. So I was very excited. I like a good deal. So they had all of the fall candles, but to be honest, <laughs> I don't love fall candles. I don't know. And I'm also very sensitive to scents. So I have to be careful what kind of scents that I burn in here because they give me a headache. But I like just like fresh and clean scents, especially since I, I don't go through them quick enough. So if I only get fall candles, like then I'd have to put them away and then use something else when the seasons change. So I got this one. It's the White Barn brand and it is rose water and ivy and it just smells so fresh like roses and I really really like that. I think this will be pretty to keep in my bedroom but also it'll smell really pretty. So that's one. I got their three wick candles by the way. Um, another one by the same brand the white barn and this is midnight blue citrus i think this is the favorite one my favorite one that i got because it's like citrusy and fresh again i they had all the fall candles and i got these fresher scented ones just honestly i haven't bought candles in forever and then this one is one that i got as a replacement and that is their aromatherapy focus and um, it's eucalyptus and tea. I love their aromatherapy line. And I actually love to have like a nice like Sunday shower where I take a really hot shower and I turn off the lights in my bathroom and I light a candle. And it's just like so relaxing. The aromatherapy scents like kind of mix with the steam and just it's really relaxing. So sometimes I'll do that every once in a while, especially if I'm like stressed out or something. But this is my favorite. I actually have their soap and their um, hand cream of the same one, the Focus by My Sink there. Yeah, I just needed a refill of this. I think I've gone through two of these. And like I said, I don't burn candles too, too often. So to say that I've gone through two of these already means a lot. And then I've gone through, which it's a, ironically it's still here but i need to throw this out now because it's finished um i had the stress relief one this i think is their old packaging um that's how old this is but it's finished now i was actually using it earlier to prop up my camera because i keep my candles inside my coffee table which you're currently sitting on um and then i just pulled this out to prop my camera up but i found my tripod so that's what you're sitting on now let me know what your favorite candle from bath and body works is in a comment down below because i feel like i'm addicted and i may want to get more candles so uh, let me know what your favorite scents are i know leaves is a fan favorite uh and i like it but i think i'd get sick of the scent so let me know comment down below because it came with a coupon so i may go back 
Now I'm gonna head to the kitchen and do some meal prep because I'm hungry for dinner and then I need meals for the week. My meal prep is done for the week. Once it cools off, I'll put it into the containers, but I'm just making myself a portion to eat right now. This is chicken breast that I marinated in olive oil with lemon juice, salt, pepper, and oregano. And I just cut it into cubes because it's easier for me to portion as well as it's, it's easier to cook that way. So that's how I like to make it. Then these are sweet potatoes that I put cinnamon and salt on as well as olive oil and I like them cubed, so I left them in the oven until they got crunchy. And then I made a stir fry that has some vegetables. Um, it's a stir fry mixed with rice and quinoa and mixed in those frozen vegetables. This is a delicious meal that I'll be eating <laughs> this week as one of my meal preps. All packed and ready to go for the week, so it is the stir fry in the bottom, sweet potatoes and chicken. I went ahead and cut up the chicken even further that way, when I pack it for my lunch at work, I don't have to bring a knife and I can just reheat it and eat it with a fork. And it's a lot easier than bringing a knife and having to cut it. So yeah, that's it. Three meals for the week. Plus my dinner tonight, so made four portions. The aftermath of meal prepping is a lot of dishes, but the plus side of that is that it's just dishes once and I got food ready. So instead of cleaning every single night, it's just a really big mess one night. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this mess and then hop in the shower, get ready for bed. I didn't end up going grocery shopping today, but since I have my lunch made for tomorrow, I have fruit to bring for breakfast and snacks and like granola bars and stuff. So I'll go grocery shopping tomorrow. Stay tuned to, to next week's vlog uh, to see what I do for a grocery shop. I'm tired, but I'm happy that today was a really productive day. Kind of thought that I wanted to get a workout into, but I made a lot of progress with editing, so I'm really happy about that. And I don't wanna bite off too much because I still wanna do my nails. So I'm gonna take a shower, do my nails, go to bed, and call it a night. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this week in my life, and I will talk to you in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't, subscribe. <laughs> Bye.